Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you what happened when I tried Flea Hair Removal Cream. If you saw my other video, you know that I like their wax strips. It's a simple package, just like the wax strips. It comes with a short instruction booklet with instructions on the front and warnings on the back. A tube of cream, also with warnings on the back, and a scraper to remove the cream. The instruction booklet and the box both have a warning that you should try a small amount of the cream on your skin first. This is because creams can be too harsh for some skin, which is something I ran into when I tried Nair. So I tried a small amount on my leg a few days before doing the whole shebang. It worked pretty well removing the hair where I put the cream and didn't cause any discomfort, so that was a good sign. A few days later, I was ready to try it out for real. Here's a few before photos of my hairy legs. I apologize up front for the paleness of them. So per the instructions, I needed to spread the cream over my legs, but not rub it in. However, you still need to make sure that you have full coverage over the hairs that you want eliminated. It took me a little bit of application before I realized the best way to do this because I felt like by spreading it, actually there was some rubbing in. After I got done applying it, I set my timer for six and a half minutes. The instructions say to leave the cream on for no longer than seven minutes and I figured it took me at least 30 seconds to apply it all, if not more. The reason they put a time limit on this is because these are chemicals and you don't want to leave it on too long because it could damage your skin. If you start feeling discomfort at any point, you should remove the cream immediately. So when the timer was up, it was time to start removing the hair. For this, I used the scraper that Glee provided in the kit. On this first leg, I scraped against the direction of the hairs. It seemed like the most logical thing to do, but I wanted to test both directions to see which was more effective at getting rid of the hairs. So on the next leg, I'll be going in the opposite direction from this leg to see which works better. I did notice that the cream was extremely thick and didn't really wash down the drain very well, which is probably why they recommend doing it in the shower. Here's what my leg looked like afterwards. I'll also show some closer up photos of both legs once I get through with each of them. I went ahead and applied the cream to my other leg a bit thicker than the previous time to get a little bit better coverage. I haven't had much success with hair removal creams in the past, either with them not working too well, smelling too horribly to use, or causing too much irritation. The Glee hair removal cream doesn't really smell terrible, although I do have to say that their wax strips smell much better. As for the irritation, the Glee brand doesn't seem to cause any issues for me. The last time I tried Nair, I did the gentle version and ended up with chemical burns on my underarms anyways, even though I only had it on for a couple of minutes. This is the exact reason why you want to try out a small test area, and I would say if you're doing different parts of your body, do a test in each area. So this time I went in the opposite direction from my other leg. I went with the direction of the hair growth. The reason that I wanted to test both directions is because I wanted to see which way did a better job of pulling out the softened hair. And that's what the creams do, they soften the hair. I was hoping that when I scraped away the hair on my legs, some of the hair beneath the skin would be softened as well and lipped out. When I got done scraping though and was rinsing my leg, I could tell that the direction I went on my first leg was better, so I scraped the second leg again, hoping to pull out some of the stubble that was left behind. So that was my second leg, and here are some after pictures. Uh, it seems to have removed the hair, although I can tell you that my legs didn't feel as smooth as when I shave. Next, I moved on to doing a small spot on my stomach. There was a comment on one of my other videos asking about the soft hairs on the stomach, so I wanted to try it out. I did just a small area because I wasn't sure if my skin would be more sensitive in this spot. I applied it, felt no discomfort, and removed it after the maximum time. It seems to have worked on the finer stomach hairs just as well as the thicker leg ones. There's a stub of darker hair that I didn't completely get with the cream that I decided to leave in place for when I took follow-up pictures. I was going to wait a week before taking the after pictures, but it only took three days before I saw growth again. The legs behaved just as if I had shaved them, so it appears the cream didn't do anything for the part of the hair beneath the surface of my skin. Uh, on my stomach, it seems to have been a bit more effective, so I've got two three-day pictures and then two one-week pictures. I took the one-week pictures at a slightly different angle to show that the lighter hairs uh, really haven't grown back, grown back too much, and they didn't come back any darker, unlike the dark hairs that were already there. Even now, several days after those last pictures, it seems like the most successful hairs were the really fine, light-colored ones. So what's my verdict? The cream didn't do great that great compared to the other hair removal methods I've used. It removed the hair that was visible on my legs, but didn't make my legs as smooth as simply shaving, which would have taken less time. Plus, the hair didn't stay away any longer than just shaving, and since my hairs grow really fast, I'm probably not likely to continue using the cream after I run out of this tube. 
As for the stomach, it seems to have worked much better on the fine hairs. And I think the reason I didn't see them come in darker is because they haven't really grown out since then. Uh, I'm not sure why. The cream didn't cause any irritation like I've experienced with other creams and didn't smell too bad either. In the end, I'm still more likely to wax, shave, or use my laser. If you're interested in seeing my videos about Glee Wax Strips versus Sally Hansen Wax Strips or the Tria Hair Removal Laser, I've got those videos linked here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.